Hashem, I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elder bishops at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings unto the 144,000, as well as the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And what gave me the idea to do this uh, video of a a uh, couple to a few scriptures that I'm going to bring out. I was watching uh, the elder Yasha Wamba, a uh, lesson that he did called um, uh, Prophecy Watch. Uh, I got to forget exactly. Spiraling out of control, or things are spiraling, spiraling out of control. Something to that effect. Sorry for uh, not remembering that. The, the title exactly but yeah you know the elder was going into how everybody is pretty much bugged out you know um through through uh witchcraft you know through sorcery and i didn't watch all of it but i you know i was <coughs> uh heard a bit of it and it inspired me to do this video real quick you know he's going into how you know uh people are an article going into how people die from psych meds and psych medication. And uh, it's got people's minds messed up as well. You know, so it made me think about the scripture you see on the, on the screen. You know, and before I read it. And I want to make a few points. That if you're out here, us, you know, I'm talking about us brothers, the ones that are in the know and have the understanding of the scriptures you know it's a it's a uh, i'm gonna use kevin samuel phrase it's an uh, observable reality that people are not mentally well from the elders the el the elderly on down to the children okay unless you have this truth everybody's pretty much melting their mind is just melting, man, and going through a meltdown. They don't know which way is up, which way to go. What's, they definitely don't know what's real, okay? What re re what that They don't understand what reality is because Babylon the Great deals with sorcery and wants to take people out of reality in, their, in your mind, you know? And when not want to, they have done it. They've done just that, you know, especially the uh, women, the leading the charge, the so-called black woman. She's completely spiraled out of freaking control. Men out of, I mean, the children is full of, you know, even, <clears throat> these children are full of, full of, I'm sorry, full of this uh, medication. Everybody's full of medication. <laughs> Prescription drugs, over-the-counter drugs. Children are getting prescribed different um, uh, formicos, okay, chemical concoctions for ADD and H A D H D, whatever, however you, whatever that is, all right, or however you say that acronym, all right. It takes their appetite away, messes with their brain, and this is where we at. We're living in a, in a in a world where every we're living in a world, especially here in Babylon the Great, really, really here in Babylon the Great, where people are living in delusion, just like the so we you know we always uh you know quote what Kevin Samuel was talking about and about women being uh delusional. Now you know it's you can see it, and we've been be able to been able to see it. You know our apostles been telling us about this when we first come into the truth. You know, but then now it's even worse. You know, so not only are the women delusional, but the men and children as well, because of the witchcraft that's been saturated this land. Let's go into Isaiah twenty-four and ten. It says the city of confusion is broken down, and this is talking about America. 
because America has many code names in the scriptures. One is Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon. And when you go into the word Babylon, it goes back to the Hebrew word Babal, which means confusion. All right. They have this alf alphabet agenda thriving and they're bugged out. They're the biggest psycho pats, um, the biggest bug outs in this land, you know, completely out of their uh, mind. Right. So you got got to be careful. You can't in some cases you can't tell the you know, a, a woman from a man. You got men looking like women women looking like men you got women you can't tell it's real women and they like damn is that a man no nah, that's a woman and then the other go to you know the definitely the other way around you got men getting their plumbing getting their plumbing getting a job done and uh you know taking hormone pills and all kind of shit to look like uh, a woman right then with the let's deal with the money everybody thinks that a federal reserve notes is money that's not reality yeah you can spend it but the truth of the matter is you can spend it and you can um what is it you can uh buy and sell with it but you cannot um uh, it's not, I'm sorry, it's not real money. All right? So people are confused when it comes to what money is. You know? How everything, how family structure is supposed to be. And I can give um, more examples, but just to give a few. You know? So going back to the verse, it says, The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in but i really want to just focus and that's we really just about you know um here with this prophecy you know i'm not gonna go all in isaiah 24 but i want to bring out this scripture about um the city of confusion is broken down and that's what's going uh that's where this society is headed to a complete uh breakdown you know it's already broken down but it's going it's going to get a lot worse you know and as the society breaks down people minds are already confused so it's going to get worse they're going to break down people are breaking down right now just having mental breakdowns and psychological issues you know and i want to go over here to To Nahum, Nahum three and four, it says, because of the multitude of of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot. Now, in this, just to uh, clarify or qualify this uh, Nahum three starting one, is talking about Nineveh, ancient city in uh in Assyria of the Assyrian uh, Empire, <laughs> right? And um, it also applies to America now, okay? Because it fits the bill even better, you know, even better than uh, than uh, Nineveh, okay? So let's read it. It says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, what are the... What are some of the whoredom? Uh, Christianity, Islam, Scientology, uh, YOLO, you only got one life to live, do as thou wilt, okay? You can be a nigger because niggers were created by Esau. He created that scumbag mentality. It says... So, yeah, because what does those things do? It gets us Israelites, when you delve into those things, it have you uh, committing spiritual uh, fornication. Okay? It gets you off the path of 
what's what's reality and what's right. It says because of the multitude of the of of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, America is a, that well favored harlot. <clears throat> it says the mistress, and it's that's the um, feminine way of basically saying master of witchcrafts that sell it nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. So pretty much the whole world is bugged out, but the heart of, you know, psychological problems, the heart of people going through, uh, basically being in a horrible psych, uh, psyche, really that just goes back to your mind, you know, but people have uh, minds are, are mush. They're scrambled eggs. You know, they don't know what's what, what's going to happen. And when things get worse out here, people are going to really be confused. You can say in uh, Isaiah 47, come and sit down in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Yeah, the, from the leadership, the international bankers, all the way down to the common person. They're going to be... Everybody's gonna be uh, looking for answers, not you know, not knowing what to do. And they already like that now, but they're still, a, um, you know, the government's you know pushing that hope and that bounce back. And at the same time, there's civil war. The spirit of civil war is brewing. You know, so this country is in a chaotic state, and it's only gonna get worse. And that's biblical prophecy. You know, it's got to get worse before it get better, before the kingdom come. So, you know, this was go this was just a little short video to uh, land back off of the uh, piece of the video I watched of the Elder Yasha Wumba. Uh, Lord willing, you know, it's edifying. And uh, to the next one, I say Shalom.